Hey there, today we're going to learn about self-hosted Bitbucket runners and how to set them up. When you host the runner yourself, it runs directly in your local environment, but the pipeline script is still controlled through Bitbucket. There are a bunch of advantages to doing this. No more worrying about running out of build minutes. You don't pay a dime for them. You have full control over the runner's environment, including CPU, memory, and disk space. Builds are as fast as your hardware allows. You can run custom or legacy environments that might not be supported by cloud pipelines, and you get full visibility into your environment when debugging any issues. All right, so I've got a repo here with a basic test environment that Playwright creates when you initialize it. This is what you get when you run npm init Playwright at latest. It generates a few sample tests you can run. Nothing fancy, but it gives us something to work with for the pipeline. You can use whatever you want, but I'm using this. We'll also set up a MongoDB database to show how Bitbucket runners handle services. First up, head over to your repository settings and find the runners section. Once you're there, click on add runner. Now you'll choose your environment. I'm on a Mac, so that's what I'm going with. Give the runner a name and then you could add labels, but we'll skip that for now. Next, you'll see the commands you need to run on your local machine. You could toss these into a script if that's easier, but I'll just copy them line by line into the terminal. For the last line, I'm actually going to save it to a script for convenience. It says, updating runner state to online. Now we're all set to fire up the runner. Here's the example pipeline that we'll be using to get everything running. Let's copy it and head to the pipeline editor to set things up. We've got the default Node.js pipeline here, but we're going to replace all of that. To run the tests, we need to install Playwright with npm ci. Then we'll install the browsers for Playwright, and finally, we'll add the line that actually runs the tests. Before the tests though, I'm going to throw in a step to install Mongosh, so we can verify that our MongoDB is up and running. I'll make a quick database test that just prints out the databases to the console. Commit that file and we're good to go. Quick note, if you were running this in Bitbucket Cloud, you'd need to define MongoDB as a service. But with our local runner, that's a no-go. It'll just throw an error since services can't be defined in a self-hosted runner. Instead, they rely on services that are already running on your local machine. Now you might notice our runner throws a connection refused error. That's because we haven't launched MongoDB yet. We need to do that on our local machine. The key thing to remember is that the runner relies on the database and services running on your local machine. Bitbucket just manages the execution. Here's the command to get that going. Once it's running, let's pop open Docker desktop to make sure MongoDB is really up and running. All right, let's hit rerun on the pipeline. And there we go. We've got the database info printed out and the playwright tests passed as well. 
That's a wrap, self-hosted runners are awesome because you save money on build minutes. If you found this helpful smash that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and happy coding.